recently, I've been showcasing a lot of different practical frameworks and apps that have been utilizing the new Cloud 3.5 Sonnet Lars Nengish model as a backend. And this is basically for their projects because of the capabilities of this new model. This new Sonnet 3.5 model is probably the best large language model out there, and it outranks every large language model on various benchmarks, whether that's vision, coding capabilities, logic, and so many other categories. Today, we are going to look at another framework built on the Sonnet 3.5 model called Maestro. This is something that was inspired by the MESPO framework that Google had recently created, and it's a quick way for you to basically build web apps different size applications, large language model applications, as well as UIs in Python with the help of AI. Now in the same matter, Smaestro is gonna be able to enable you to utilize the Cloud Sonnet 3.5 model to orchestrate sub-agents to carry out your tasks like building applications, code, agent deployment, and so much more. Just take a look at this example where the creator of this project, Pythro, had asked to create a Mario clone using geometric shapes and with the wildest part, that is to give the characters animations as well. And the shapes seem to have novel concepts. And this is something that just barely took three minutes to create. And you can see how amazing this game looks and how functional it is. In a way, we can see sparks of AGI with this new Sonnet model, which is why I tend to creep, keep on creating many more videos on it because of how amazing these different types of outputs are from this model. Now, something cool to note is that yesterday I actually created a video on Cloud Engineer, which was a revolutionary coding framework built on the new Sonnet 3.5 model by the same creator of this project, which is Pythro. So I definitely recommend that you follow him on Twitter because he has been killing it. But throughout today's video, we're going to be showcasing how you can get started with this new Maestro project because this is a great framework for you to utilize this new model in various ways. For example, utilizing it in a way for you to deploy different agents, use it for coding, as well as building different types of applications. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video and showcase what you can do with Maestro. Now, before we get started, I'd like to introduce World of AI Solutions. This is a really big update that has been launched for my channel. And this is where I have compiled a team of software engineers. We have machine learning experts, AI consultants, and this is basically a team where we're going to be providing AI solutions for businesses as well as personal use cases where AI solutions can be implemented to automate certain things or to help business operations. Now, if you're interested, take a look at the Typeform link in the description below. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Maestro, which is a framework for orchestrating sub agents. Basically, you can generate anything you want with a single prompt, and this is by utilizing the new Cloud 3.5 Sonnet model. You can previously see that you can utilize the Cloud Opus model, as well as the GPT models, as well as local large language models. Now, in this case, we have this new Sonnet model that we're going to be using to basically showcase the capabilities of Cloud's new model with the Maestro framework that will enable you to create almost anything. So, with that thought, let's get straight into it couple of features that we can see is that you can break down an objective into manageable subtasks using the opus model you can create and execute substacks with the haiku model now obviously with the new sonnet model you're going to be able to do all of these things within that model you can provide the model with memory of previous substacks for context you can refine the subtask results into a final output you can generate a detailed exchange log capturing the entire task breakdown and the execution process you can save the exchange log to a markdown file for easy reference. You can utilize an improved prompt for the model to better access task completion. And you can lastly create code files, folders when working on code snippets. So how does this full on framework work? We know that it is an orchestration sub agent framework for the large language model. And what this basically means is that it's like a smart assistant that uses the LM to help complete task it works on breaking down the task which is the first initial thing that happens the orchestrator which breaks down the big task into smaller manageable parts which you can see in this flow over here you can see that the specialized sub agents are going to focus on certain types of tasks like writing the code 
creating the graphics, or building the web page. It util utilizes the large language model to basically have it so that it can understand instructions and generate the necessary output. For example, if you need a piece of code, a code sub agent will ask the large language model to actually reference its context and write that code. In other cases, it even collaborates. So these sub agents can even work together, share their progress, as well as the results with the orchestrator to get better completion solution. And lastly, we get the final assembly, which is the completed, pro like I would say the product. And it is where you're going to reference the previous processes as well as the contributions from each sub agent and assemble a final solution. And it will obviously go back and forth to make sure that the code is functional. And at the end, we can see that it combines and completes a task for you. And in the same manner, Maestro is going to be functioning with that same orchestration. So how can we get started? There's a couple of prerequisites that we'll need to have fulfilled before we install Maestro on our computer. First things first, you need to make sure that you have Python installed. This is going to be the programming language that we're going to be utilizing. We're going to need to make sure that we have Git installed, which is an app that will help us clone repositories onto our desktop. And we will also need an Anthropic API key to access the Cloud 3.5 model. Once you have these three things fulfilled, we will install the Python packages, Anthropic and Rich. Once we are starting to install the requirements of this project, we will also need to make sure that we have pip installed, which most of us probably have installed already. But if you do not, make sure you install pip. You can easily just search up how to install pip and you can install that in your command prompt. So once you have done all of this, you can go over to the GitHub repository, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Click on this green button, copy this link, open up command prompt. This is obviously on Windows. Once you have done that, just simply type in git clone and paste the link in and click enter. Once that is done, we can head all the way down. And what we can do is run the following script inside that file. Now, obviously, before we even get to this, this is for the usage. We need to make sure that we set our API keys. Now, before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below. So in this case, I'm going to be opening up Visual Studio Code, which is going to be my ID of my choice. I'm going to be opening up the folder that I just recently cloned. So I need to find Maestro, which should be here somewhere. There we go. So I'm going to select that folder. I'm going to trust the authors at my own discretion. And then I'm going to go to the maestro.py file where I'm going to be choosing the large language model of my choice. So in this case, you have a lot of flexibility in choosing all the anthropic models that you would want to utilize. So in this case, if you're going to be utilizing the Cloud Sonnet 3.5 model, you can have it as your prime choice where you're going to set your API key over here. So if you want to change your model, you can simply just change the model of your type by just selecting the model by simply just copying Opus, for example, and pasting it in to the orchestration model, the sub agent model and the refiner model. In this case, to get the most optimal results for your generation, you can just utilize the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet model. So once you have set your model as well as your API key, you can just simply just click on save. Once that is done, you can then open this up in your integrated terminal within your IDE. So once we are in this directory of Maestro, if you do not know how to get there, you can just simply type in CD and then type in the name of our directory and get into this folder. Once we are here, we need to now install the packages. You should run this command on the screen to basically install all the packages such as Tably for a search, Anthropic as well as Rich. So now that we have all the packages installed, what we can do now is just simply copy this script over here and then we can start utilizing Maestro. So Python, Maestro.py is the main Python file for it. We're going to click enter and we can see right away you can now start utilizing this. This is where you can generate anything you want now with a single prompt and this is by specifying your objective. So you can ask it, create me a snake game in Python. And what it can do now is it can add a text file for you. So you can just simply click yes. You can enter the file name, path or the path. So I'm going to specify a path and I'm going to open this up. So I didn't really specify the actual path, but we can see that it's going to start on creating and calling all the orchestrations to fulfill my objective. 
So you can see now it's going to call orchestrator for your objective. It's going to specify the plan for it. It's going to start sending the task to Haiku. In this case, it says Haiku, but it's actually going to send it over to the Sonnet model. But within a couple of minutes, we should get an output for our game. So you can see now that it has finally created our game and the log is then sent over to our MD file. And we can see that it had utilized all the different models to help us execute this. And guys, if you're an idiot like me who doesn't know where he actually saved the game, you can actually reference back over to the Maestro file, which is going to have a log of what you had generated, which you can see over here. All the task lists that were used to create your game is over here, as well as the snake game that has been created, which is the Python file. You can simply just open this up. You're going to be able to access this game right here, which is super fast in my opinion. But you can see I was able to give it a small textual representation of what this game should be. And it created me this snake game. And it was easy as that, guys. This is a super hard game, but we got it working. So what I'm going to be doing now is creating a front end for a website. And this is where I'm going to try to have it create a website for my channel. So let's try our best to see how this front end is developed. And there you go. I have copied the code into an HTML viewer and it, it, it did a great job in generating the full on description of my code where I told it to generate an AI website for my channel. And you can see that this is an interactive website that was created for my channel, which has a pricing structure. And this was something that I created with animations as well. So this is something that is absolutely amazing in terms of generating websites, front ends, as well as applications. But it's all about prompting. If you know how to prompt properly, you're going to be able to get the best output from these models. And that's basically it for today's video on Maestro. This is a great framework that will let you utilize the new Anthropic model. And it's going to help you in various ways to generate anything you want with a single prompt. So with that thought, guys, I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Huge respects to Pytro for creating this project. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access subscriptions. Make sure you follow me on Twitter so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.